Welcome to the University of Life. Today we're giving an overview of the chapter one of the art and craft of writing, the ultimate step-by-step -step guidebook to the writing process and effective composition. Now, the book is broken into three parts and the first nine chapters are all foundational concepts that you need to know, to understand, and to apply to make your writing easier and better. And this first one, not only because, well, just chronologically, but because it's the most important, it's a word you may have heard before, purpose. All right, so every time you lay your fingers on the keyboard, ask yourself this question, what am I trying to do? All right, why are you writing? What are you hoping to accomplish? You're probably familiar from like junior high, from like seventh grade, with picking a topic. Oh, I'm gonna write about grass. I'm gonna write about science religion, you know, gun control, anything like that. But if you have just a topic without a purpose, it's really vague and it doesn't provide a lot of information to guide you in your writing. So by writing a more specific purpose statement so you know where you're going, you don't have to include it in your paper, but you should know what it is, it guides you and helps you know what to do and what to look for and make your organization make more sense to yourself and everything. So. Um, so do it. So there are, turns out there are five different types of purposes and all writing falls under one or more of these types. You can inform, just convey information. You can persuade and there are different types of persuasion. We'll talk more about that in another video. You can entertain, maybe you're just there to express yourself like graffiti or something. You don't care what anyone else thinks of it. Or maybe you're just writing stuff just to process your own ideas. And, brainstorm and figure stuff out. So, um, But despite which of these five types of purposes your writing falls under, all writing also has one common purpose. One purpose that all writing shares and that is to be effective. Effective at what? Well of course effective at um, accomplishing its purpose and doing whatever it is you set out to do. So. This whole book is all about that, how to accomplish that successfully, both with the concepts you need, with the habits and processes that make it work, make it happen, and then a whole bunch of writing skills to, to get the job done. Uh, here are a couple of quotes about purpose, just to drive home the point. Failure to define a clear purpose often results in wandering words that never quite get to the point because there is no clear point to get to. If you don't know why you're writing something, then how will you decide how to do it? All writing has a purpose and audience, which is the next video, whether the writer knows it or not. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But for now, just know that um, by choosing a specific purpose and writing it out, your writing, will be, your writing process will be so much easier. It'll be less confusing, less stress, and it'll come out better, you'll do a better job. Um, so make sure and write that down. And then as you plan your paper, as you plan each idea, and, and as you write it out, each paragraph, make sure that every single paragraph, in fact, every single sentence and word, advance that purpose. If they don't help your main purpose, that's what you call fluff, right? Maybe you just need to rewrite it or, sh or make it more clear how it contributes to your purpose, but make sure it contributes to that purpose and then you'll be in good shape. You can find some examples of and some exercises to practice and get specifics on how to do clear purpose statements at this at the University of Life at this webpage um, or in this lovely textbook, of course, which you can also find from the University of Life, uoflife.com. Good luck. See you next time.